I, I could hear it, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might be wondering, how does this barbershop harmony thing work? And, uh, you know, you see the guys in the straw hats and the vests and all, and actually there's quite a bit involved in, to make this sound and how it works. And I won't go into the history of it, I'll just explain how it works. Well, first off, you need a guy to sing the song. And then he sings the melody, and we have Jeff here that does that. And uh, we're gonna demonstrate this with a song called My Wild Irish Rose. So how does that song go, Jeff? My wild Irish rose, the sweetest, and the sweetest <laughs> flower that grows. Very good. Okay, so that's that's the melody, and I'm sure most of you are familiar with that song. So now it's barbershop harmony, and you have to have harmony. And a harmony part, it's very unusual, but in barbershop, one of the harmony parts is above the melody. You know, when you sing hymns in church, all those sopranos way at the top, they have the melody and everybody else sings harmony. But in barbershop, one of the characteristics is a harmony part sings above the melody. So we have a tenor to do that. And our tenor is Nick here. And Nick, uh, why don't you sing your harmony part along with Jeff to see how that goes. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. Yeah, very good. So then we're getting the harmony working here. Now the next part is the bass, and the bass is the fundamental, the fundamental uh, tone of the key and the and the basis for all the music. And Carl is our bass. And that's, uh, that's what we have here, Carl, <laughs> singing bass. So how about the three of you, uh, how, how would that go together? My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. Very nice. So now the part that's remaining, that's the baritone part, and this part, gets whatever note is remaining left that's in the chord. You know, some people call them the garbage notes. So uh, it's whatever, whatever notes left over to make this four part chord. Now, of course, the baritone, he has to be able to blend with the other three voices. He has to have a fine ear in order to tune the chord properly, depending on what the other three guys are doing. So ordinarily, this part is left to the most talented singer and the, the and the you know the best and most intellectual fellow who knows how to sing. And unfortunately, un unfortunately, Nick is singing tenor today, so I'll have to do that part today. And when you put all four parts together, this is what you get. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. You may search everywhere, but none can compare with my wild Oh, my.